Jason, I, I don't want to get too carried away, but do you feel we've made a real statement coming here and winning today? Yeah, I think there was always belief. There was always belief in our performance. You know, I think the win on, on Wednesday, Tuesday night, gives a, a real big confidence boost. And like I said, it's never an easy place to go. I said that in the interview before the game. These are a top side. You know, organised, strong players. You know, and and, and the, the, the you know the, the record speaks for itself, doesn't it? You know, but um, we've dug in. I thought once once the first once the score of first, I think the second half started started well. Uh, I mean, it frustrates me because at half time we told them that they'd come out firing and they did. And um, we made some silly errors in the first f first five or ten minutes in the second half and then they've scored a, scored a great goal. Um, but we've showed immense character again. Um, <laughs> they've come here, scored two. And the, the disappointing thing was then, I think, you know, we, we could have gone on. We had a couple of great chances. Glenn had a chance where he probably had more time than they thought. Two should have scored. Um, and that would have made life a little bit more comfortable, but you're always going to they put some good balls in a box, you know what I mean? And, and we've defended magnificently. I thought Rob Atkinson, James Curtis were, were immense today, immense. Um, you know, but you, know, you can't you can't single anybody out. I thought it was a massive win today. And you had to make a couple of changes. Obviously, Shane was suspended and Hibbs was injured. How did you feel? As you mentioned, I thought Atkinson and, and Thackeray coming in midfield were excellent today. How did you feel they performed? Yeah, that's what you ask your players to do, don't you? You know, it's. I felt for Callum a little bit because you know he haven't played for about two months and he's coming to here and a big crowd and it was you know it was the, it was a tough tough second half for him you know whether fitness but he, you know, he, he he was excellent he stood up to his task he has to do a job in there um, it's not easy after playing centre half for, for however many months and to ask someone to go and do that and I thought like I said the first ten minutes we weren't close to them um, but then he grew into the game and he got stronger and stronger and I think he finished the game uh, fantastically well and he was he was he was pivotal to what we've what we achieved today and the result leaves us third in the league we're one point now off Chorley the first team to win here since March as I touched on before is it too early to start thinking maybe about a title push is it just a case of each game as it comes for you yeah of course it is um, you lose a game and you're back down mid-table and you win a game and you're up there so you know especially having not having a game next Saturday it was important we got something out of the game today would I have settled for a point before the game I probably would away from home here um, but to, to come away with a victory, especially the way we, the, the manner we did, you know, you know, to to call one down, um, not really being in the game second half, and then we've we've showed real character, and it was a great great header by Rob, fantastic header, and uh, Glenn Taylor's put the penalty away, um, as he has done all season. So it's it's a massive win, and, the, and the, the fans were unbelievable today. Uh, they sang from minute one, and, and they'll go back very very happy because, like I said, it was it was a performance of true grit.